All right, well, we'll start now. Welcome to another episode of. Uh, I don't know why we're doing this one because we got we got absolutely <laughs> as people might have seen, we got absolutely spanked yesterday. Uh, well, I think we're, the reason we're doing it is because it's called the life of a futsal club. Yeah, and this is probably. Well, we did do one last week, did we? Because now we didn't have a game. No, a bit to talk about from that, but yeah. And we got spanked, and I've got to say, rightly so, did we get spanked? <laughs> I think we've had some beatings in the past. Uh, we've, we've spoke about the derby game, and I think that was only was it six one. Yeah. There's not, there's not many times where we've had proper beatings, and I mean a proper beating, where we've actually gone for it and had our full squad. Oh yeah, full. You know what I mean? Yeah, not <laughs> no, 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 I say that. Well, the big thing we had we had touched on this because it happened after we did the last video, but yeah. we uh, we lost our best, our player of the year, top scorer. Top scorer. <laughs> uh, he's broke his leg playing football. He needs to play. He's going to be out for eighteen months. Yeah. Uh, and that has absolutely crippled us because we've got some big players. Uh, but we only really had one Jack Yates who yeah, had the magic he's... scored goals and he was our sort of he was the man of match at St George's he's we can play certain way Jack's probably he's he's, he's the standout player away from he gives us something different that none of us else can give us yeah. and with that gone we just look very predictable and flat and not very futsal. Very football. Very football. And shit football at that moment, <laughs> I've got to say. But yeah. we did touch on before, we've lost uh, we lost Luca Chadley as well, didn't we? Yeah. I think he played against Liverpool and then he's gone to play he's football. Gone to against Liverpool, got man of the match. Yeah, and he's got he went to Algeria, so from our cup final defeat uh, we've lost two of, of our the, the man of the match and Luca who scored a couple of Yeah, think. we've lost two of our better players, so so, we're yeah. trying to replace them, but it's tough, isn't it? It is. It's really it's tough. tough. It's tough. So with the, uh, no excuses though. Yesterday, just no. That's the best we could have put out, considering <laughs> we're losing Jack. Just, Jack, just which not. It was obviously devastating, but just again, I didn't. I, it sounds crazy. I didn't think that was amazing, but what they did is every time they broke, they just killed us. Even when it was three on two in our favour, they just killed us. Yeah, they had a two on three. And somehow he's just squared it across. Bad past everyone. All of ours are just running towards goal. And he just plays it across, stood there, open goal, taps it. Uh, it's just. It was actually a game. Well, it's, it, was actually, it was a game, but it won't, was it? It started off 15 seconds in. We went 1 0 down. It. We tried a daft pass through the middle. Chips the goalkeeper, 1 0. Yeah. Then we tried something else. But then after that, and this, this, this to me sums us up to a T. We get a three-on-one break, yeah. a three-on-one, and we do not even get a shot away. Yeah. Two seconds, well, whatever it is later, a minute later, we try another ridiculous pass. Bam, they go down the other end, take the piss out of us, and they score another tap in, yeah. and then they just do it again straight after. Yeah, yeah. Three-nil down. We then change full personnel. We got it back to three-two. And then it went four-two, then four-three, and we was in it. And then again, just... Daft goals, wasn't it? And it just killed us. So half time was 7 3. We've then looked at it and said, right, next two goals, it's either going to be good night or do you know what? We're back in it. Yeah. And it was quickly, and I mean quickly, see you later time, wasn't it? Yeah. Three minutes into the second half, it was about 10. Yeah. So it was just. Yeah. Just not, not street wise enough. Don't know how to, we don't know how to finish. Same old story. We, we get away with it against lesser teams because we can't finish and they're alright at finishing. Yeah, yeah. A bit like the. I, I looked at that Birmingham against this team and I, Birmingham was a crap London Genesis. Yeah. But still so good for us. Yeah, yeah. They, could ju they just had. Again, in that game, we was in it and we bombed it. But we've just got. I don't know. We've just got to wake up and. F we're still football out. We're still. When we break, we don't want to break the offside trap. <laughs> <laughs> and we walk, and we walk up on that player. Yeah, yeah. Cat, no, no, you'll be off. No, or, so it's frustrating. But like I can say, it, I it, think it's a real tough one because, like I said, I don't even think we give up. Mentally, we maybe did, but it wasn't a case of we gave up. 
it was we just weren't good enough. Nah. And like I said, there was no frustration there. I think we I think we got frustrated with some decisions and which we'll maybe come to soon, but uh what I felt were key points in the game, but ultimately crap. <laughs> we, oh, yeah. we just, I can't swear good enough. I can't blame swear good enough. No blame on the refs. Um yeah, I don't think we're even. I might I, make... Just on the rest, so we had we had the Bruffles. Yeah, yeah. As a point in, I thought brilliant. I thought get in. This is exactly what this game needs. We was calling out for yeah. top refs. I, I I put them down as top. Ref. I think I think the family decisions. To talk to you with respect. To tell you when when you're out of line. Yeah. And to let you play. Uh, I think about ten minutes uh, ten minutes in when I was playing. Uh, I quickly changed my mind on one aspect of that because I couldn't play my game. <laughs> uh, so I had to. Yeah. I think at one point I just brought off, came off because I thought Med was gonna, Med was gonna. Yeah, you're ready. Uh, I, I, like I say, I had, I had, but it was good because it was, no, it was really good. I, I, just, I, I, I just, like I said, just there was a couple of decisions I fell. And I think that we've even showed one of the video, and I think they've come back out there. <laughs> which we'll never show. We said we weren't gonna, but we'll I, have I to. Might, I might. <laughs> well, this is how good the refs are because I went to them at half time, and, I, and, and they both spoke to me really well. They want, they want Nobby, they want Big Tam. They told me, they explained it. Whether I like the explanation or not, but they took the time to explain it, so that's all I can ask from a ref. Yeah, yeah. So good. <clears throat> it's different to how that that other bloke treads the other way when yeah, he's yeah. just shouting them. All right, but there was there were. Like I said, they explain the decisions. Yeah, that's fantastic. Right. Thank you. So to them, so thank you. You didn't have to, and you did. It was great. Um, there was what we'll try and get this clip on because I think we've showed him. <laughs> we actually showed him it because they did the second game for us as well, didn't they? Yeah, they, yeah. they did our game at uni, um, and then they come and did our second team game as well. So, so they got the money's worth with goals yesterday. So they saw a lot of goals, um, not many from us. I may add, but we showed we, we, we showed him this yellow car pack. I want to give him a red, did he? Give him a red. <laughs> I'll we'll come back to that. Give him a red, but he mistakenly gave him a red because yeah, he thought yeah, he was someone else. Mistaken was identity, yeah. yeah. So he, he retracted that, but just booked him. But when it when it showed him it back, it looks like. Um, hopefully, we've got the clip and we can put the clip oh, in while I'm talking. It, it looks like um, Reese is using his your demand powers, <laughs> so he, and he just busts his arm out and he barely touches this kid. And my God, does he fly? Well, it's Ribeiro, and he it? just. It's yeah. just magic, are we? Does well, it? You've got, so you've got Reese, who's what's he six? Is he taller than me? Six, six three, six, six four. Three, six, four. Uh, big guy. Uh, then you got Claudio Ribeiro, who's what he must be eight stone, yeah. <laughs> about five foot, and he's running backwards. And Reese has put his <laughs> Reese is running forwards. Ribeiro's running backwards. He puts his arm out because Reese's on a charge and he's backpedaling. Puts his arm out as if to say, "Get out of my way." And he just flew back. Oh yeah. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. He said it was a two-handed punch. So he obviously, <laughs> well, he obviously didn't well, see the, it. The best reaction. <laughs> we showed him and his daddy. Yeah. And his dad never said a word. He just looks at him. And that, what, what have you done, son? And then just walks away. <laughs> well, it was the fact he got a yellow for it I as know. well. So he must have guessed. He must. He can't have seen a two-handed punch. No, but He's obviously seen someone go flying on the floor and gone. You can't do that. It's a yellow. Yeah. And not actually seen the actual incident. But apart from that, I'm, I'm already having a laugh with the yeah. ruffles. Yes. It, but the, there was absolutely spot on. There was spot in the second game the only one I had a thing and I've watched it back and I'm like oh, I'm not sure it's one where the keeper spills it so I take a I've got a kick in and I had nothing on and so I thought I've done this a few times I'll just smash it at the keeper because our court's real narrow so you smash it at the keeper it might hit his foot and go in I take it it's a, it's a freebie so I've hit it at the keeper spilled it it's gone in front of it so what do I do what what, do, what am I supposed to do then well, <laughs> my, my look, my, I looked at that Keeper's running that way, yeah. you're running that way, he's diving in to get the ball. There's going to be a collision because you're both running towards the ball at the same point. Yeah. You didn't come off the floor, you didn't slide in. Well, I stayed on my feet and I've kicked the ball. And, and but the, he's slid into And then me. the keeper slid. You both could, there has to be a collision yeah, yeah. because you're both. But nobody was going. If you would have slid in and gone two foot on him, yeah, they'd yeah. be like, yeah, all right, damn, it's yeah, excessive yeah. force. But the keeper's sliding out, you're staying on your feet. I don't know what else you could have done. I've kicked the ball as well, that's the thing. Yeah, but I don't know what else you well, could have done. That was a that was a four three. Yeah. That was our sick foul. And they get a penalty for it. And the score from the penalty. Yeah. And it was just like, oh 
Right. But I've no idea. Thought, but what am I supposed to do next time? Just let the keeper get it? Or I, I can't if I was late on him and I've kicked him. But I've kicked the ball and he's gone. In, he's, he's slid into me. He's, he's, he's panicking. All, he dropped all it in front of the goal. There is well done, keeper. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. I just said, brilliant. Yeah, well you've done, done it, mate. Yeah. You blocked the shot and you've you've smothered him and yeah, you've clattered into Dan at the same time. If I go down, I might go off him, but I can't go down anymore because all the rest of us are saying to me get up. Oh, <laughs> but uh, but yeah. But yeah, like I say, we're not. I would say I was only having a laugh for the Bruffles yesterday and they took it well. Um, yeah. There was yeah, brilliant. <clears throat> best ones we've had. Yeah. What about the arms? We're going into that because oh, oh, just on that, uh, on the oh, where the thingy comes in, keeper comes in. Uh, he said Bear keeps clamping down on that, so I don't. I'll, I need to speak to Mark and see clamping down on what. Okay, we go. I don't get it if I've gone into the keeper and I've nailed him, but he slid into me. But yeah, I don't. I, I, I think now. excessive force doesn't relate to the goalkeepers. Keepers can do anything they want. Well, I saw a couple from Jordan yesterday yeah, as yeah. well. Yeah, and you, you and jo- said. I, I turned round at one point and I went, "Ah, oh, Mark, how has he not got a red card?" Yeah, yeah. Because he absolutely mullered him. Yeah, yeah. And then even Jordan was like, when I said it to Jordan later on, he was like. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. a Jordan tackle. Yeah, I shouldn't yeah. say this because a, jo- a Jordan <laughs> Sheffield tackle. We tried to get it out of him. Yeah. Way, but. but I shouldn't say this because the next time Jordan, they'll all be like, "Right, let's get him next time." Yeah, yeah. But yeah, he did. It, it, it was. I think he got a bit of the ball, but it's one of them where it was. <laughs> we have it with the kids still. With it. It's so awkward because we obviously know a slide tackle yeah. in the kids' league, and then the keepers come sliding out, and it's like everyone's clapping, going, "What a save!" And it's like. Penalty, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> can't, you can't. Just broke him in half. He and then the all, everyone's like up in arms. How would you mean it's a great tackle? And it's, oh, no. Uh, but yeah, but back to the game. I've not a lot. A lot you've mentioned in the arms. <laughs> you've got in it. We'll come back to that next week. Oh, you. Oh, you we that's mentioned? the first time you've bottled it. Okay, that's well, well, all right, we'll talk about the abs. So, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I didn't hear it. No, it's not, it's not upsetting them because we've had. But we need to know because this is the first time I've heard this. Uh, so, just to give you context, right. when I first played futsal, I played for Hull Futsal Club and Rob McGann was refing. And the first thing I did is I went my, I got my arms around the defender like that. Locked him in. Him. Like you would at football. Yeah, and back. he's got his arms locked around you. Like, can't do that. Can do it in football, can't do it in futsal. Okay, so I've learned over the years when the ball's coming in to put my arms out like this to show everyone I'm not using my arms. Even Sunderland was saying, uh, the, the kid from Sunderland was saying, uh, complain about my arms being too big. It's like I'm showing you I'm not pulling you. But what what I do do is if I back in like that using my body and making myself big, if I if if someone grabs me with two arms or pulls on me. I will naturally go like that because they have initiated contact. Yeah. So I will go like that and what I'll do, I'm giving it away now, but this is what I do. If they put their arms on me, I will get my elbows and I will hold their arms. Yeah, pin them. Now I've got them. I've got them. I can do whatever I want now because I've got you. Yeah. Because but, but you've, you initiated, should, you've you should, initiated the contact. No, but you should put your arms there, kid. Yeah, yeah. You you've you've arms, initiated though. the contact. Yeah, so I'm like this showing everyone. They wrapped it around, so I pin them. I, I hold them like that and my hands are here. So I'm not even using my hands, I'm holding them. I don't know if that's a foul or not, but... They've, I don't think it is. <laughs> but because uh, I'm not using my hands, uh, and then I'll turn. For me, the minute I'm going in on goal, you can't keep hold of me now, because I because I'm. Well, all, <laughs> that, put, but that 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 was my interpretation. I put that down as bad defending. Yeah, yeah. Because if you, as soon as you put your arms round, yeah, you've committed the foul. But then if you hold him and spin him, then now he's suddenly in on goal. Yeah, yeah. Then it becomes a worse. You can play. He's playing yeah, the. Yeah. So now if he pulls you back. I think if we're both challenging for the ball and no one's got control of the ball, right? I think the minute I've got control of the ball, then it's like, well, now we are coming. I, I, maybe I've got that wrong, but that was my interpretation of it. I've now got control of the ball. Yeah, so what the, what, what I got told yesterday of, of certain people... Oh, so, well, yeah, so, so, so now I'm told I can't do that. Yeah, so what, what was said was, when the ball's coming into you, yeah. because you're not in control of the ball, you're making your body... to... Come on, come on. Come on. You're making your body, so when you were like that, you're you're making your body... Like Christ the Redeemer. Yeah, Yeah. too big, so they can't get round you. Okay. Okay. I'm going to say what I got told. I I don't know if they're coming around me or not. I know, so so, so what you're doing then, therefore, then is... Is it like an obstruction? Are they saying it's obstruction? Because I'm obstructing them from coming around and nicking the ball off me. Yeah, because you're not. I don't. 
don't do it again. Go on, no, go on. Mate, mate. Uh, go on, so what am I supposed to do? I don't know, mate. Go on. No, 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 no what did the side have to do? Keep your arms in, inwards, more, but... So I can't do that, but I can do that? Yeah, that's right, what so I got for told. Me, Imagine if I do this all game, what's going to happen? Well, you're going could, to go down with an elbow. It's I'm going to elbow someone. You can't, you can't look to hold the ball up without your arms. And I, I have to tell you and Reese at half time to stop using your arms. I know, and it killed me. And, and, and then all of a sudden, we're shocking Poco, Poco in. People Poco in. And you can't, but you can't keep your balance, you can't hold anyone off. Because the defenders are coming through, yeah. But, the, but and you can't hold them off. But that's it. And then they're holding, they're holding me. And then what am I supposed to do? And then there was one where I've even got a shot off. Uh, sorry, Mitch, she was texting me. Uh, uh, people got a shot off, and he's still holding me while I've got a shot off. And it's like, what? But yeah, it's killing me. I, I need to know. I need to know if I can do that or not. Because I'm gonna have to change the way. Again, because <laughs> that was not allowed, and now that's not allowed. I don't. I don't. I, I don't. I, I really don't want to be doing that because I do catch people with my elbows. I've done it at football. It's because I've got a stiff arm and I've got the, the pointiest elbows ever. I don't want to start going around with my elbows out. I really don't. I, I, I don't. I, I say I don't. If that, if you're not allowed to do that, I don't know. I don't know how to coach pivot and I don't know what to, how to coach pivot because no. all I'm going to tell the defence to do is lean into you and, and when that ball's coming just lean in a bit Yeah. and so you, you've got no balance because your arms are you, you, you need I, 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 don't, I don't know mate I don't know what to I don't say, that's it I don't know what to coach yeah. I don't know but I don't know if that is the thing like, I don't know that's, that's is, the first time I've heard it anyway unless something's changed recently if it is the, if it is a thing like I said I get it if he can't get round you but but then if he's why, why would I want him to get around? But me? then again, but if I ain't got the ball and he's and the ball's coming in, I can still step across him there. Yeah, he's. A, but yeah. what is that? Is that going to be obstruction or is that bad defending? Why have you tried to step round him? Yeah. So I'd still say, can I not move? Am I fixed then? Yeah. When that ball's coming in, because if I move, I'm not in possession of the ball, but I'm I'm still stopping him getting the ball because yeah. I'm moving my body. Yeah, yeah. But I ain't got the ball. <sighs> so how can I? It, 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 am I going to call for? Yeah. I, ju I, just, I, just felt, I just felt when I did that, I was just, it wasn't even to hold them off, it was no, to just to show I'm not holding because it. Because the times we've been got, when you when you bring it in and you and you, you pin them, because yeah. they've got you and you pin them, then they'll go, freak it the other way because yeah. you pin. We had a bear in the It was like, 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 like he's, he's got two hands, you can see that both his hands are in his chest. I know, and he's like, yeah, but you've pinned him. It's yeah. like, well, mate, if. But. Yeah. So, I, I, like I say, I, I don't know. Yeah. I honestly, I, I think I've killed you when I've come off at half time to tell you that. Uh, yeah. I've wiped you two out because I've seen you jumping for the ball, Poco in. <laughs> and he's just, what? What's uh, that? Just looks. Uh, so I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know what to do well, with that. Well, that's, well maybe, uh, well, I don't know. But I don't know. Like I said, the top refs, and I'm sure they know what they're on about, but I'm not sure. Every, well, probably everyone will ref like that now, but <laughs> not sure everyone's going to ref it the same. That's the first time I've heard of it. And we've had them loads of times, and I've never played any differently, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll see. But yeah, the last thing I want to be doing is when the, when the ball's coming into me to suddenly go like that. I know if you went like that, cause, and then if it's like, like that little kid who was Matt. Well, that's it. It'd have been the, the majority of people I play against, there's not many who have a tall Batman. No. There's not many. It's normally, do you know what I mean? A, 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 a kid that can play. Like, even Liverpool, they've got, do you know what I mean? Smaller kids that can play. So, I'm going to I'm gonna catch one, unfortunately. But, but like I say, if the ball, to me, if the ball's coming into you, and you can see the ball coming into you, if you're walking around the game like that, like, where's the gummage all game? Spinning round and knocking, yeah, yeah. and it's... What are you doing, mate? No. But when the ball's coming in, naturally, your body, the ball's coming in, you're going to go... Yeah. To have a ticket on your chest, but you can't go... Because you're making your chest smaller. You need that area of bang, bring it out, and yeah. then go down. But your arms are going to come out. Yeah. But I don't use... I don't use... I'm going on a bit here, but... I don't use my arms to hold them off. No, I no. Use, I use my back. I use my back, so I, I get my back in, and that is so... That is... So they can't get around me. If, that, if that's not allowed, then fair enough, but I didn't know. I didn't know that's what I'm not using my arms. So they, they aren't coming around and I'm pushing them off. I'm not. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Which I'm sure is allowed anyway. If, if when oh, someone you, you teach us, if someone's running you down the line, you get your arm in. Well, you're just defending your. I'm not doing that. That's a push. But if <laughs> yeah, someone's yeah. running, I'm going to use my arm out. And if you're going to run into my arm, yeah, I'm, I can still use. Why would I have my arms in? Yeah, I don't. I, 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 I'm well, not I pushing, see. and you're just going to run into me. Well, I'm I, using. Yeah. 
I don't know. Like I say, I have no clue. Yeah. I have no clue what you can or can't do. Some of the stuff I see. Yeah. Uh, I did get a block yesterday, though. Oh yeah. Someone running into our play. Yeah. Well done. Well done for the uh, Ruffles for that, yeah. seeing that. And they actually scored and got it disallowed. Yeah, yeah, they did do that. I was loving it. But uh, no, like I said, they, but no, no, I, I, I they, they, were, they were good. They, what I will say, Genesis. So we was a bit, in the week, we was a bit like, are they going to even come? Are they, are they even going to travel all the way up here? They're doing well in the league. Do they need this cup? Uh, there was there early. There was there before us. Apparently they got a coach there. Yeah, yeah. Full squad. Uh, started like an house on fire, uh, proper set up. I, I know a lot of clubs haven't maybe took this cup seriously and other cups in the past and things like that, but they're, 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 they're the type of club we need more of them. We need more of them in, in futsal who was just willing to travel. Yeah, we're going up to all, we're doing it and we're, going, we're doing it properly and they took it yeah. serious. And <laughs> it's just that they, they've they got a, like a the kids behind them? Probably not. I don't, uh, I'd like... Uh, I've got a feeling they have. I've got a feeling they have. I hope so. Confirm, but that's... Because uh, that's what I'd like to see more of, but... Yeah, I know you would. Yeah. But, again, they just had... They had a lot of futsal players that we don't have. They had a lot of... I don't yeah. know where there was all... I don't know what language you were all talking. Was it Portuguese? Portuguese, I think I... Yeah, Is it Portuguese? Yeah. Well, they had a lot of Portuguese kids who could all play futsal. They've been brought up on it. Yeah. Just too good for us. Yeah. Far, far too good. Just futsal Yeah, yeah. We, we can't. I said at the beginning of the game, the only way we're going to win this is if we turn this into an horrible, shitty game. Yeah. If, if this turns into futsal, we're going to get dicked. Yeah. And it turned into futsal, <laughs> then we got hammered. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that was our chance yesterday. But they're going to be good. They've got a couple of uh, Elbecchia players, haven't they? It's... Yeah. We made their keeper look well here again. Yeah, <laughs> let's shoot from twenty yards out. And make him look. <laughs> so again, he had a few camera moments. Then he's yeah, like, yeah. "Well done, Capes." Yeah, yeah, yeah. and how was he just all from two yards at the yeah, bang? Yeah. Two yards out, goal, goal, goal. Yeah. But like I say, mate, it's, we'll get onto the cup now, and yeah. that, I think this cup, this cup's kind of working in it. I think of well, ish. I think. For, for, for some teams, you've probably got... Oh, how many teams realistically can win this cup? What, four? And I'm being generous with four. Yeah, yeah. The rest but if, of... But if, if, yeah, if Blumsbury match up with Manchester... Yeah, it might get rid of one of them. And Bolton and get a... But to me, there's only, one. what? Bloomsbury could win it, Manchester could win it. Bolton on the day might win it, depending what team he puts out could win it. So I think they're up there. Um, anybody else? Mm, not sure. I think the the rest of the tier one. They, I think they could they could potentially. All be so when we're looking at the cup, you think there's no money in it. You've got to travel. I look at um, well, fair play to Manchester because Manchester have travelled to South End, so they're obviously taking it serious because they're one of the teams that can win it. Yeah. And they've gone to South End, and I put South End on a power bus. And Manchester have gone there and just absolutely blitzed them, haven't they? Yeah, 15. 15, 3 or something. Yeah, and yeah. just blitzed them. So it shows levels where we're all at. Yeah, yeah. So, but for the rest of the country, it, it's a nothingness, isn't it? We're, we're just going for games, for extra games, for a cup you can't win. Yeah. Again, what we'll see is the Bolton West London was, was done well, that game. Obviously, there was a lot of publicity yeah. around it. Uh, I watched the first half last night. Uh, yeah, obviously, me running tier three, it was it was it was an interesting to see where they were at, and yeah, unfortunately, Bolton just too strong. I, I think obviously Cook is belly up and said we need to take this seriously, and I think it was on a six one. But yeah, but did he play? Actually, look at the game. Did he play as young kids as well? Uh, there was all involved, yeah. But it's uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it's just yeah, there's just. Levels, I don't. Just yeah. shows that he can put his young kids out and beat a decent team, or he can put his seniors out and probably beat them even more. Yeah. But he's got them options, we don't. But like I say, I think Bolton could win the cup, there's three of them, yeah. but for the rest of us, so. It, it's just a yeah. lot, it's a lot for nothing. Yeah. It's not even like a league game <coughs> where you've got to travel a long way to get three points, you're getting, yeah. you're getting out. Yeah. So I don't know what they're doing with the cup, I think the other cup. The, 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 the player, the cup and the player. Yeah. The league one. The pr- the, the cup. The player's is, probably the most interesting one. The player's the player's decent yeah. only because anyone there's eight teams left in it and any one of the eight teams could uh, are all now thinking 
we could actually win it. Yeah. Looking at the teams left, you know what? We could win, and every eight, eight teams there could think we could win this. Yeah, yeah. If you're in the in the cup yeah. or the other half of that thing, yeah, you're waiting to get to our Manchester. Yeah, and you're yeah. going. Well, we'll get this far, and we'll go to them. We're out. Yeah. So long as you get them, we're out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> but then you just say, but, but then, but yeah, if you've had if you've had two home games, it's cost you hundred pound for your venue. So two hundred quid for two home games, and then you've had refs another two hundred quid, four hundred. It's cost you six hundred quid to get to to get to play Bloomfield, and they're <laughs> going to beat anything. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, oh, great. But like I said, there's FA Cup for the football. I see it. There's money, and if ever you get, yeah, you get yeah. a bit of money, and there's a bit of a reward there for you. Yeah. What do we get? You get a reward of, oh great, you can go play Bloomsbury at uh, where? Where we're playing them at? Old Trafford? No, uh, another sports centre. <laughs> oh, I might go swimming when I've finished as well. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's another yeah. the sports hall. How much it costs us to get there? Because yeah. I look at Bolton now, and they've got to travel in that crappy plate we're in. Yeah. And they've got to travel to Southampton. I know. Oh my God. I'll tell you what you don't want to do if you're travelling to uh, anywhere far. Uh, Run out of fuel. Oh, well, what, what do you mean, fuel? Do you have to put fuel in your car? Yeah, I think well, if you go on long journeys, you have to make sure you've you've got it above empty. I don't know where I could have fuel then. No, I think. Oh, right, yeah, I didn't know that. Then, uh, yeah, so. The minibuses the same? Minibuses are the same, yeah, so. Oh, really? If you're, uh, well, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. What about if you get to a petrol station and there's no petrol at the back? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, you have to you have to bring blues. You have to bring the your position and oh, all right, uh, okay. see if they'll pick you up or bring you some fuel. So yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I don't know who that was. No. Um, how did you get on the other week anyway? Uh, I think it was a late kickoff. I don't know why. Uh, right. Okay. But I think they got there a bit late. I think something did happened. They? Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think Bloomsbury smashed them. I think as. We thought I had a lovely Sunday as well that day. <laughs> <laughs> no, a bit better. We had a bad, but yeah. The, do you know the, what? This week he can laugh at us because we've got absolutely tired. Yeah, yeah, do, do, do you know what gets me through yesterday when I'm sat there thinking, do you know what? We've just been battered in this cup, but yeah. whatever. I sit there and think, do you know what? This time last week there was a certain uh, we'll call him Wilson just as his cover name. <laughs> Wilson was travelling down the M1 thinking. I'm going to fill up nearer to the nearer to Bloomsbury, uh, not Bloomsbury, to uh, where I'm going. Yeah. And I'll get to this petrol station, and I'll fill up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fill up now. And do you know what? Keep, I, went, I was like, I sat awake last night thinking, do you know what? I've been spanked. But imagine his face, Wilson's face, when he gets to the petrol station. Thinks, if Dave and Danny just, <laughs> <laughs> just put their team out and actually trip, well. <laughs> And actually, and actually went for it instead of playing. If I was there, keeping it, get injured. Yeah, I went, wow. I went fly all game, and I didn't put my young lads out. Maybe I could be sat on my feet up no, now, this, not ringing up. A, this is how it went. Hello. This is how it went. It was in the minibus at the peril station with no fuel, and he tears round to the minibus. There he goes. If any of you <laughs> tell any of them two dickheads from me driving that I've run out of fuel, you'll never play for me again. And then they have to him up, and they've obviously brought him petrol and summer, haven't they? Yeah, I don't know what's And then he's got there, he's got absolutely and smashed. And then he's smashed. 15 yeah. summer, so we were saying about Bloomsbury not scoring, so well done Wilson, you've uh, give uh, Bloomsbury a bit of confidence back and yeah, yeah. Put, the, uh, put some goals back on yeah. the table. Um, but yeah, back to the cup. I, I feel well. I've seen in the cup as well. If I think if Sunderland beat Nottingham, oh, have you seen that one? Yeah, yeah. Right. I think. Oh no, he's not on that draw. Yeah, no. so, so they've got so lucky because that would have been Southampton to, to, to Sunderland. To Sunderland. All oh, right. Yeah. So he's going to get drawn the next round. But if that happens, yeah. No, I, I, it's yeah. just. What's the point? You get to semi. So you you spend. Three hundred quid on petrol to get to the semi final to get spanked by Bloomsbury. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> so like I say, like it's, it's, yeah. I don't know what they're going to do with the cup, but I, people have just dropped out left, right, and centre, and they couldn't yeah. be asked to travel. People give the games away. Yeah, it's. Ah, it's a tough. Yeah, the pre-season, everyone said we want more games, we want more games, and then it comes to the cup and the weather, the snow comes. It's like uh, well, yeah, oh, again, you look yeah. at like Liverpool beat Brentford last week. I think they put the second string out. You know. Because people haven't got second teams, so they need to give these other kids a game. Yeah. So they just go, well, you play in the cup then, because yeah. the, we can't win it, so you might as well just play in that and see how far you get. And it's So I don't know what the answer is. Um, 
Well, do know is if by by some sort of miracle we do get promoted this season, which I think we've got absolutely zero um, chance. Yeah. Um, we could probably compete with about three teams, and yeah, I don't think we can do that at the minute, especially those in Jack. But yeah, it we'll just see. I, I can't see it now. I just can see us. Yeah. I, I, the, the, well, it'll tell us. I think I have a Bolton will put us out of our misery on the 14th of. Um, yeah. January. We've got Loughborough next. Loughborough's second team. We'll see what they're like, they're about. And then we've got four weeks time. I think we've got Bolton. So if Bolton beat us, just might as well wrap up and we for this season. Start yeah, again. Yeah. Season yeah. over. Bring markets through. Bring markets through. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So that was that. Our second team. I can't. They suck as well. <laughs> Maybe the coaching. I think we need to change a manager. I think it's just not. <laughs> it's not working, is it? No. Nah. Ah, well, that's not working. Are people out listening? I don't know. Well, we say all the time that we either can or you won't. Well, yesterday the the the, the, the cat. Yeah. Okay, it's not. So we we've, we've we've that that's that's our sort of motto, isn't it? When we we're asking them to do, with people to do things, you either can or you won't, and we've always. We've all been bored about which one is it, and I think yesterday I think it's. I don't think it's a lack of willingness to do it. I just think we can't, can't do it. We can't grasp what needs to be done. We just nah. can't. Which is it, it takes generations. It takes generations. It I'm does. sure Bolton have obviously got a. We talk about Bolton a lot actually, but it's it's, it's, it's a perfect club of where you can see how it's going to progress over the years and the players are going to come through because they've got a proven model we've been trying to get a model that works for our kids because what works for Bolton won't necessarily work for us and it won't work for Eagle team and it won't work for Sunderland everyone's got to do you've, you've got to find what works for your club because we haven't got a cookie or we haven't got do you know what I mean we, we have to go a different way about things and what you're going to see now is they've got a formula that works and each player that comes in will be a part of that formula. Yeah. We still we're still finding what works. We can't get kids to move, we can't get our adults team to move. You know what I mean? We can't we just can't get them to play futsal, can't we? So it's yeah. we'll we'll find it and once we've cracked it, I'm sure we'll I think what we need is what a lot of these other teams have had, the Manchesters and people like that and Bloomsbury have had proper futsal players in at the club. Yeah. I think like all these have had proper. They might not be there now. They might have got rid of them, but they've had them to start with, and you can see how futsal were. I think when we had Fabin, I think certain yeah. people could see it how it, yeah, how it yeah. actually. All oh, right, is that how it looks? But then when you lose him, we had him for two seasons. Yeah, yeah. We don't have any. No, no. Out and out futsal players. We've got some good footballers. Yeah, yeah. But that's all we've got. So be, they never watch a game. They've never no. watched a game of futsal in their lives. No. So they just all they think what futsal is is what we do. Oh my God, it sinks. What we yeah. do. Just don't look anything like for yourself. I watched the Bolton and West London game, and Bolton scored some really good goals where it's ping, 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 some of the back post tapping and stuff like that. But I just, these large courts seem to be. I, like, that was a, probably a battering. I don't think you get an 18. I wonder what's. I, I'd like to know what's. Size courts sport in South Ends was because you don't generally get a 15 3 or what was that? was 16 5. What was it? So, yeah, 16 5 like. on a large court. You just don't seem to get them scores. It's more of a like us against Derby 6 1 or an 8 1 or do you know what I mean? It's I, I just the, the spectacle it, it's great. It, so it's great what Bolton do and the, the set moves and but I just feel like the ball travels along. Do you know what I mean? Rather than just the like the basketball of full on yeah, yeah. chaos. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's. I don't know. The, do you know the spectacle? I don't know. I, I, we, uh, we're on about. We've been. Me and you've been on about court sizes for a while. And they need, to me, they need to change whatever Graham Dell pull <coughs> he has over this league. That's what I'm saying. So he it's, needs to it's, change. How, how do we go for? How do we go forward? Because obviously this is that debate for years. Are we create? Are we? Is it futsal an event or is it? Uh, is it? A, I don't know how to. I don't know how to describe it. But do we want more of them pretty patterns in empty sports halls where you've got loads of space to play, play your passes and stuff like that, or do we want an event where it's where people come and they go, I absolutely. And you want an event? Feet. Do you know what I mean? You need uh, events because there was loads of the Bolton game, but I don't know how many occasions it would have been. 
absolute. Do you know what I mean? Not where the fans were on, but go wow. Well, do you know what I mean? That's the only way the game grows by it becoming people talking about it and looking at it and going, wow, that was good. Because yeah. what we get a lot of is, I'll pass there and I'll look round there and I'll pass there and I'll look round there and I'll blow yeah. my god, it's boring. Yeah. And you can't get the ball off them because they just keep looking, oh, uh, but that influence, that's just boring keeping yeah. the ball. Obviously, you've got a couple of levels and, and, you yeah. go, and you go to Spain and Portugal and there, theirs is chaos. But on big courts. Yeah, but it's fast and it's class yeah, and they're all... Ours is like a slower version of but, that. Do you know what I mean? When you watch it, like I said, I, I, I try and watch every full game I can. But within five minutes, I find myself going through my phone and I, I have to turn it off and realise like, no, I need to I need to watch. Yeah. I need to watch this. But, it's but all, it's... everyone that came to ours, I had to, I, I didn't apologise to our parents. I basically, I sent a message saying the day before, I said, look, we're playing a team from London. They're going to have a lot of futsal players. I'm not expecting us to win. This is what I put before the game, just to give it context. I'm not expecting us to win, but it will show the kids how yeah. the game should be played. And then last night, I had to send another message saying, thank you everyone for coming, because quite a few, look, well, loads came, all in the shirts, the kids all came in the shirts. Fortunately, football was off and it was a midday kickoff. Uh, and I just said, that's, that's, look, we're not saying we're brilliant at it, but what we're saying is, that's how it should be played. And yeah. loads of people come back, how fast was it? Just look at look at them. That's don't look at us. Watch yeah, them watch out. Them. And that, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm trying to get us to. Yeah, that's that's what we need you to do. And when I'm saying sprint, it's you saw everyone of them sprinting. Yeah, yeah. They didn't. But I say with the courts bit, I look at the footstand in this country, and everyone's trying to do this four zero crap, yeah. right? And it's so while they want these giant courts, is we'll bring you in, we'll bring you in, we'll bring someone could just float the ball over the top and bring you in a flat four. Yeah. Wow, that's boring. Yeah. And then when Bloomsbury gone to play on the continent, it's going. Man, that's really basic crap. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Yeah, yeah. It don't work. What works here against us? Yeah, don't yeah. work against anyone else that goes, yeah, that's, that's, that's talking about it. I'm not having that. Yeah, yeah. So these big courts, it don't work. I, all I think you need is, if it's 18 metres wide, yeah. you've got the width, the length don't really matter. No, no. As proven yesterday, we played on a, a 33 by 16, yeah. and they've trashed it. They never moaned about how big that court no. was. They've destroyed us. Yeah, they played perfect futsal in terms of they was always getting to the back post. Yeah. Everything you asked for, the movement, running forward, everything you asked for, they played on a small car and absolutely destroyed. But us. on a bigger, wider car. I think that was on a bigger, wider car. They wouldn't have had the legs. They would, not, not only that, it, the score would have not have been six no. So, so I know we got battered, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, for the people watching, if that was the home team, then that would have been. Amazing. That think, would have been amazing to watch. That to, was us beating their Back, their back to Dell, I don't know why, but I don't know if Chris needs to go to him and say, mate, why are you obsessed with this? Because the only people who basically can play on them courts is people who've got either a major city or they've had the Commonwealth Games. Yeah. If you haven't had that, you've no chance. But I don't know why we all want, oh, we must play on. If it ain't 40 metres long, I can't play on it anymore because I'm a legend. Mate, behave. Yeah. What, seven metres short is going to kill your game? Why would that hurt anyone? I don't get it. We can all get 18 and metres wide. And the reason I brought this, this, is, this is because, like I said, we're, we're nowhere ready for team. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not arguing to get us up. What, oh, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is, that was, they showed yesterday the court size are relevant. It's Absolutely. How, it's, it's how you play. It's, it's, it, for me, it was, that was more of a spectacle in terms of the goals and, yeah, we helped them, but I conceded that many. Yeah. But, but the Bolton West London game that was built up massively, Unless you're an absolute futsal purist, the majority of that you would have gone. Okay. Do you know what I mean? There's, there's not the one. The one. I think the word I'm looking for. The one that many moments. Uh, do you know what I mean? The one that many moments. It was just they they outplayed them and they they, they outfought them. They out they outfought them. Just because of their experience and West London didn't know how to defend against it, but it was still only six one. Do you know what I mean? I just don't. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I, don't, I, I watch a lot I of football games. I want to see more spectacle. I want to see more spectacle. The ball, the ball. Ice hockey. Everyone's yeah. going ice hockey. We've got two two ice hockey teams, haven't we? Everyone goes on a Sunday night. Why? Because it's passy passy, or because it's chaos. Because it's exciting. And it's, do you know what I mean? It's and it's an event. And but it's, it's like basketball, and it people go watch basketball because it's that's sad. Then it's sad. This one is. Yeah, yeah. If a team want to kill another team, like Blum going to play us and win one nil. Yeah, yeah. They're good. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, but I'll watch that ever again. Yeah, yeah. Just football can be a bit like it. Yeah. I suppose when it's two teams similar, it's end to end, like us against Kent in that final. 
I get it, but I just think some of these games where levels, I think you you hit the nail on the head, pal, but you're coming to us, so you need to play on our court. It's like football, isn't it? <laughs> it's how it's how many how times have people do it? Man United are coming to town, right, we're going to narrow the pitch off. Yeah, yeah. Because we can we can bring it in, we're allowed to bring it in 10 yards, and we are. Yeah. Because why would we give them more space? Yeah. Because they'll kill us. Then it becomes a spectacle. It it le- it gives you a, a, level a little bit of an advantage. Generally, yeah. the better teams still win anyway. Yeah, yeah. They still find a way yeah, yeah. because they do. But then every now and again, it becomes a leveler and it makes it a decent spectacle. And you can include the whole of England, yeah, yeah. not just go right. Hang on, Manchester have had Commonwealth Games, Sheffield have had the Commonwealth Games, Birmingham have and London. If you're not in them, you're lucky if you've got a sports hall big enough. Yeah. Unless you've got a derby at a private derby. school. Yeah. If you haven't got out like that. Sorry, you can never play futsal. But if you've got a bunch of five players from Portugal, yeah, like we played yesterday, <laughs> then and you live in London, then yeah. you're in the top league yeah, or yeah. Loughborough. Yeah. But what what have you got coming through? You've got nothing coming through to help the sport. Yeah. So basically, we're we're a one up from leisure leagues. Yeah. A couple of teams are doing it well. Bloomsbury are, Manchester are, Bolton are, two or three others. But I don't know what I'm but, talking, I was just, I've, but I just you, watched our it, game and, and although we got battered, I know the people there would have gone, that was good. Yeah, yeah. And, and admiring our opposition. No, what's come up where I gone? That and then I watched, Bol- I watched Bolton and Thingy and I, like I say, I, I, I love watching the games and I was, I'm at half time and I was like, I'll, I'll watch it another time. Do you know what I mean? It was like, I, I want gripped and Bolton played some amazing stuff. Everything I want, I'd want us to do in a team. Do you know what I mean? The movement, uh, I think Conor Woodruff and Kyle Lawless have just took Bolton to another level recently. I think I think they're amazing players. They do stuff. You can see there was there was a kick in. Uh, he spanned round to the back post and he's playing it. He just tapped in from there. It's like it looks so simple. It's brilliant. It's great coaching. They're listening. But it's still, where's that wow factor? Do you know what I mean? Where's that end to end game? It's just not. But on a small court, if you just narrow that pitch off. It becomes tight and Bolton can't do that. West London are in the game. I think the only way you need the bigger court is when you're watching like uh, Sporting in the Champions League. Yeah, yeah. When that needs a big court because they're so good and it's so fast that they're yeah, not yeah. boring and it's fence to end yeah, still, yeah. but they're so good on the ball and yeah, it's. Yeah. But we don't because. But yeah, we'll probably we're, we're, probably, fight, we're probably fighting the losing battle. But, I'm just giving my like I said, we got battered and I just thought, you know what though, that that was a spectacle. It, but it's, this sport, the only way it can grow, because I keep looking at this sport and I keep like, I question myself what, I'm, what we need what, for. What we do because it's. Well, you, you said you said a couple of weeks ago, it was after the Birmingham one, and I took it with a pinch of salt. You was like, if we got rid of the first and second teams, uh, we'd probably save about five to eight grand a year. And all that time I'd get back. I know. <laughs> so what, and, you, and you look and you go, or what we, what, what, so what we trying to achieve it? We can't get point? to the top level. I can't, we, well, we know we can't expect our court. Yeah, exactly. So we're doing it for. Yeah. I, I, I don't question it. You think? Yeah. Well, we could have that six grand and do some here. Yeah. I could have a brand new floor. Yeah, and, yeah. And do but all we're looking this. Looking at new floors, aren't we? And it's like, yeah, to paint. It or, 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 free, or I could go travel to wherever and get spanked. Yeah. But I, I saw. Why am I doing it? Yeah, there was uh, there's was no, there's, a scholar. They just disbanded the men's team and just, just I thought, for, but there's, but there's, there's no reward. No, no, that's that's what, it. What's the reward for for doing anything? It just cost you more. <laughs> cost you more money. <laughs> We've never had. I've never had so much as a, a thank you. Kiss me ass off any of the FA. Yeah. I've come down and said, Do you know what? Like Pete Sturgis or any of them when they travel the country, Ian Bateman. Yeah. No one's ever come down here and gone. How have you got 260 kids and all these league teams? Well, you know, can we come down and just have a look what you're doing? No. Oh, but Old City Academy, this was it when we got invited. <laughs> Old City Academy, we're going to put a futsal event on for you, we'll come down here, Bateman. Yeah. And he put on a. Where um, is it? And it was a. We went, went down, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, no, but and what did he do it on? Packet 3G pitch. 3G pitch with pop up goals and discs as lines. And then you tell the people that's futsal. And it's like, man, that's you just play football <laughs> on a 3G car, that was all you did. Yeah, yeah. But never, like I say, we get absolutely. Yeah. We're not that we no, want it, I, but <laughs> but why wouldn't but, they? But yeah, yeah. what else? What else are they doing? The futsal committee? Because yeah, yeah. where are they all? Yeah. I've never, we've never ever seen one. How long are we doing it? <sighs> six years. Yeah. Five, six Five, years, yeah. and we've not had one person say well done, an email, yeah. or a thing just saying, "Lads, we appreciate what you're doing here. It's good you're keeping futsal." I think the problem is, is there's no. I, I, I'm not sure we know what the end goal is here. I don't think that the. The end goal can't be to emulate Spain, it can't be. 
Wish I had. But no, no, I mean, because that takes a lot of money. Yeah, and for whatever reason. We're, we're well, I watched, spo- I watched Sporting over the weekend, and you look at it, and they're in a little mini stadium, yeah. God knows how many fans, yeah. and we're still in, buddy, some leisure centre, yeah. next to a swimming pool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and you think, oh wow, what is it? Is this it? And you're lucky if they've got a balcony. Yeah. But I'm taking my place two hundred. Yeah, pounds. so that's what I'm saying. I don't. So I don't know what the end goal is. So what? What we? What? What do you focus on if you don't know what your end goal is? I'm, well, I don't know. I don't. I have. I, I, I'm starting to question futsal now because I, I have no clue what we're doing it for. Yeah. Do you know what? When, when yeah, yeah, I'm being serious. I don't, I don't use, I don't, when, on a, yeah, on a serious note, this isn't because we've lost. No, no, defeat, I, I that's what we're saying is it's. I know it's just, and, and I'm sure there'll be other people that have been here a lot longer than us who will probably say. Well, I, I, what I will say is, I think it has come on a long way since we started. Yeah, yeah. The fact that we have got a uh, tier three team playing a tier one, televised. Yeah, with yeah. Fans there, kids there, kids coming through the system. Or we'll look like they're going to end up playing. But for what England. did Bolton get from that? It cost them probably three hundred quid to hire the all and pay for two referees. Yeah. So it cost them all that money to put that on. Yeah, yeah. And what did they get back? Well, I think they charged admission, so they might have got. Might it. have got a bit of money, but otherwise you're getting out. Yeah, yeah. You don't even get a thank you. So I like <coughs> say I, I don't. It, all I do know is every home game for us basically costs us three hundred quid, and then we've got this to pay for as well. Yeah. Where we're at now, so again, that costs us a bit more money. Yeah, yeah. So if we, this they probably cost us what four fifty yeah, yeah. for two to us two games, yeah. or we could have had two hundred quid each yeah. and had a day off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, it, it, it's become it, it comes to a point where you go, how do I justify this to myself? Yeah, and I don't know. I, 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 I'd, uh, I'd, uh, but with the football, yeah. so we've looked at going down the football right now, haven't we? We've looked at JPL and going, we've lost so many kids to JPL and going. Um, do you know what? Let's start. Let's let's start a futsal foot, football well, sort of. What we've looked, what I looked at, I saw new one doing it on a small scale, and I've seen some other clubs doing it. And then obviously Barcelona and Real Madrid on a big scale. It's a club. Yeah. So you don't play futsal. You play futsal, football, netball, basketball, hockey. Yeah, and they're a massive. We, and we've got a facility here where we could put a three G pitch on. We could put indoor arena. Yeah. It take a lot of investment, a lot of things, but I'm starting to look at the business side of it and going, how can we take us to the next level? Because it's not there for futsal. It's it, it that, that it's not there for futsal to to invest all that money for what that. Do you know what I mean? It's and there's, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of people trying, like just to, Chris Parkins trying his hardest to get the, the level standards right and the levels right and. And, and making sure people do what they should be doing, but what is the end goal? <coughs> what is the end goal? That's uh, and that's it. So, for example, if we got an indoor arena with three courts and if we had a show court, twenty by forty, and it had all surround seating, is anyone going to be able to duplicate that? What we've done? Nah. No, because there's not that many people like me and you who were uh, doing it. I, I'm doing it full time. Obviously, you've got. Uh, a part-time job, but I've, every single night and every single weekend day, you're doing full yeah. time. So, but the hours where, but not everyone can do that. So it's all right. Us going to, so I, just for example, uh, Chris Orton, we've done it. We've built our own arena. You've been moaning about courts as we've done it. But that just be for us. It's not for the sport. <laughs> do you know what I mean? We could we could prove it could be done, but I don't know. Like Chris Orton, just for example, I don't know what he could. Has he got that time and energy to do that? I, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, and if we did, it wouldn't be about futsal. Would it be about everything else? No, that's what I'm but, saying. Uh, if we're going to do it, yeah, it's because we need it be basketball. It be written with yeah, yeah, it'd be a proper play, arena. Yeah. It be that. So that's 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 why I'm looking. And build at. like some sort of umbersar franchise. And that's it. This is where these and teams that's where play. That's why I take from. it. So, but when I, when I finish playing, that that'll be my focus. But I can't. But for futsal, <laughs> it's just like I say. I don't know. Again, we probably need like Chris or somebody on it, or Graham Dell or somebody to come out and go right, lads. This is the, the end goal is right. You get to play in Champions League. Wow, and get knocked out in the prelims because yeah, yeah. because we're crap. Yeah. So that's just cost us how much to go to wherever yeah. to get our asses whooped. Yeah, yeah. And then we come back in the league. Oh God, yeah. triple this again and. Yeah. If we beat Manchester, we win. You know, it's the same old. I, I don't know what yeah. it is. But then, if, if we went down the netball route, and we could 
get a thingy, I guarantee we'll get loads of fans for that. Oh yeah. Well netball. So, so netball. Netball's netball's round. Round. netball event before our thingy, how many people was there back oh, no, no. It was rammed, wasn't it? Absolutely rammed. Basketball. If we got a basketball I go to so I coach at college, I think I might have said this before, but football pitch, few people scattered. Go inside basketball, the atmosphere. Yeah. College 16, 70 year olds playing basketball, the atmosphere, the people around the court stood there, you can't get in. Oh, I, yeah, no. If I said we're putting a futsal game, I'm not going to be there. I don't know why, because it's so similar to the biggest sport we all play. Because it's boring. <laughs> well, yeah. I'll yeah. I, I, I tell you where Showtime, because there's only a book, we're crap, but we're entertaining, yeah. and people will come and watch it. Do you want to watch a 2 1 game where no one really wants to take a risk or. Yeah. And there's too many of them, they're just. The top teams are too similar, there's no, uh, yeah. we're just not. It, some it's a shame, some, isn't it? Someone's got to change. It's a shame. Someone has to change for Futsal to grow, because it, it cannot grow out. Well, the people that have been there a long time would have seen change, but there's still, I guarantee, the majority of them, Cookie, for example, will be going, I, I do wish, I thought it'd be further on than it is now. It may be standard-wise. No, that's what I mean, we've never raised the levels, on. but I think we would... But like, on the uncertain teams, I still look at Loughborough and go, what levels have you raised? Yeah, yeah. You've still got you still got a college team yeah. or a uni team playing in the top league. Yeah, yeah. What's the point in you? Yeah, yeah. You've got nothing coming through, nothing underneath you. Yeah, yeah. And then they'll when they bring this under sixteen in, they'll go sign up a local under sixteen team, team and yeah. call them look uh, you, look for you only. There we go, go under sixteens. Look. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Sick done there in front and he's like, get yeah. rid of them. Right, we've had our run. I've got to get across town. Yeah, uh, right over. But yeah, um, yeah. This, in general. Yeah. Football's the way uh, Football. Yeah. Well, we'll be back next week with another topic. Uh, yeah. 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 Maybe referees yeah. again.